the British government wants to make London the center for crypto assets and is also banking on the latest craze in the crypto market. The Royal Mint is to issue a so-called non-fungible token. As a result of the British exit from the EU, London has lost its importance as a financial hub, but now the British government apparently senses a new opportunity. Great Britain wants to become a hub for crypto investments in the future, said John Glenn, minister responsible for the City of London and the financial services industry. If crypto is going to be a big part of the future, then in the UK we want to be there from day one, Glenn said at an industry event in London. We see enormous potential in the cryptocurrency and want to give ourselves every chance to derive the greatest possible benefit from it, he said. Apparently, the British government cannot resist the latest hype in the crypto scene, the so-called Web3. Glenn announced a, a non-fungible token or NFT to be issued by the Royal Mint. The digital collector's item is to be launched in the summer and will become the emblem of the future-oriented approach that we are pursuing, said the minister without revealing any further details. That's something we know from them. NFTs are digital collector's items that can be assigned to their respective owners via the blockchain. Above all, thanks to adventurous price increases, the technology has triggered a real gold rush mood and also caused various scandals. Financial Services Secretary Glenn also announced legislation to regulate so-called stable coins, that's digital currencies whose rate is tri tied to that of uh, traditional currencies such as the dollar. On the crypto market, stable coins serve as a kind of universal exchange currency. In view of the growing importance of digital parallel currencies, financial supervisors also fear possible consequences for the stability of the financial system. In Great Britain, all stable coins are to be monitored by the central bank in the future. The new rules aim to ensure that users can exchange their stable coins at face value at any time, according to Financial Services Minister Glenn. The European Union is also currently working on new rules for crypto assets such as Bitcoin. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.